Hello everyone, Rob here and welcome to Linux Quest. It's been too long since I've popped out a video, but this news caught my eye this morning. Microsoft is bringing Linux GUI apps to Windows 10. And I thought, what? What's going on here? Um, and really, this is what's happening. Windows subsystem for Linux is getting improvements. It's not out yet, but they're going to add the GUI app support or graphic user interface support along with GPU hardware acceleration. So we've all seen news where Microsoft is embracing Linux, embracing open source. And at first glance, you think, yes, yeah, you're right. But really over time, it's exactly what we've seen Microsoft kind of do. Um, they're even releasing open source apps now. So while it's been possible to run Linux GUI apps with Windows previously, you had a third party, you had a middleman there, um, the X server, but the graphics performance was poor. It just wasn't a good implementation. It was mainly, it's been mainly um, focused for developers. And to some effect, I think that is uh, working for Microsoft. They are um, seeing developers use Windows to create Linux applications or open source applications. So Microsoft has also added open uh, SSH or native open SSH to Windows 10. And of course, in the Microsoft Store, you can find Ubuntu, SUS Linux, and Fedora. So the uh, Windows Terminal command line tool launched last year, and it's reached 1.0 in general release. With, so with WSL2 and the new GPU support, you should be able to natively run your favorite GUI Linux app right on Windows. Mm -hmm. So my question is, do you care? Um, would this be a big deal for you? I, for one, have my you know, list of favorite Linux apps that uh, when, if, if I jump over and run Windows that I definitely miss. So uh, what are your thoughts there? Is this a good thing, a bad thing? Is this something you would use? Um, does this help you if you're kind of you know one leg in Linux and one leg in Windows? Is this something you're excited about? So I'd love to hear from you on this. And Based on what I'm reading here, it looks like by the fall with recent updates, uh, or if you're into the developer updates on Windows, you should be able to access possibly within the next month or two months. And certainly by the fall, I think standard Windows users with frequent updates would be able to run Linux apps uh, almost as if it's native. I mean, the Linux kernel is going to be in place here. All right, thanks for watching.